In this series setup, we're using the rheostat as a variable resistor to change the voltage and current through the 10 ohm resistor. This will allow us to find the IV characteristics for that 10 ohm resistor. However, there's a disadvantage with this circuit. There's a limit to how low the voltage you can get across the 10 ohm resistor. This setup is much better. It's a parallel setup where we're using all three terminals of the rheostat. Okay, this will allow us to change the voltage across the terminal resistor all the way from zero to 12 volt maximum. Okay, the series setup here won't allow us to measure the whole IV characteristics. If I connect it at X, the current will flow around like this. It will go through the top. If it's connected to X, it will come down here and it will go through and that will give basically there's no resistance as we're using zero ohms and that means that all the voltage will go here. So we can get 12 volts. Okay, and then you can also just sl slowly slide it from X towards Y. And when we do that, the resistance of the uh, rheostat increases, and that means we can measure voltages uh, getting lower and lower, give, being given to the 10 ohm resistor. And if you flip the cell around, we can measure it the other end as well. But what's the lowest voltage we can get? To find the lowest voltage across the resistor, I'm going to connect the sliding contact at point Y. So the current goes through here, and when the sliding contact is here, it's going to go through the whole rheostat. So it's going to basically be 50 ohms there. Okay, so to figure out the voltage, I'm going to take the 12 volt volts and divide it up into 60 pieces. That's the total resistance. And then give 10 of those to the uh, 10 ohm resistor. That gives me 2 volts. So that's the lowest voltage I can get. So I can't measure this region here. Okay, so I can't measure the full IV characteristic because the lowest voltages cannot be obtained using this setup. So here's basically what I did. Okay, I used connected to X to get the 12 volts and then I connected to Y. But the lowest I can get was 2 volts. Okay, so I'm going to reconnect it into a parallel setup. So firstly, I'm going to connect the power supply to terminal C and the other terminal at the other end here. So it's connected across the whole rear set. Then I'm going to use the, the terminal with the sliding contact and connect it like this. And this will allow us to, uh, once I've connected the voltmeter and the ammeter parallel to the, the 10 ohm resistor, because that's the thing that I'm measuring the IV characteristic for, this will allow me to measure the whole IV characteristic. Okay, I'll use this diagram to explain what's going on. So basically now I've got a parallel setup like this. Okay, so when I connect it at X, it's the same as connecting it across like this. Okay, so basically they all is a parallel circuit. So you get 12 volts across this, and you get 12 volts across that. So that's how you get the maximum. Okay, when I connect it at the other end, when I connect it at Y, it's basically like connecting across a piece of wire. The wire just has very low resistance compared to the 50 ohm resistor here. So zero volts goes here and then this gets a total of 12 volts. And this basically gets zero volts. It's, a, it's a basically a short circuit. And the uh, lowest voltage you can get now is in this region. We can measure this region here where we've got very low voltages.